The plantation house at Ferry Farm was built based on archaeology and a lot of research. It's actually built on top of the foundation of the original house. And they came up with an elaborate system to preserve the original foundation of the house under the current house that you see here. The house is completely a reproduction. Nothing you see in this house is original. They went to a lot of trouble to make sure that the things in this house and the way the house looks would have been authentic to the time. Uh, there is some air conditioning located in this house that you can see. So they did make a few compromises. But for the most part, this is an outstanding job of building a reproduction house. They used many of the original building techniques to build this house. They had blacksmiths make all the hardware for the house. The house is timber framed, just like the original house would have been. The materials used in this house were as authentic as they could get. This is an outstanding job of reproducing the past. This is how we can learn about what George Washington's boyhood home would have been like without actually going back in time. Now, when you come to Ferry Farm, you will meet your tour in the back of the house. They have a small porch area where you can wait for your tour. Now, this is Mary Washington's bedchamber. This is the room that she would have slept in. She may have also had a guest in the room because there are two beds in here. And you can notice the uh, key on the bed for tightening the ropes on the bed in this spot over here. Uh, but Mary Washington would have also entertained in this room. It was customary in this time, if you had a guest that was another lady, that you would entertain this lady in your bedchamber. This was quite common in this time period. When Mary Washington entertained in her bedchambers, she would often serve tea. So they have set out a tea set here that would be representative of the types of teacups and saucers that Mary Washington would have had. In fact, some of these are based on the archeology span that they conducted at the time. So when you look at these reproductions, you're actually looking at as close as they can get of Mary Washington's tea set that she would have used to entertain in her bedchamber. Welcome to the Hall of Fairy Farm. This would have been the main entertainment space for the plantation house. This could be where they had their meals, if they had guests. And as you look around the room, you will see many pieces of reproduced furniture. None of these items of furniture are original. The chairs and the table are all reproductions. Now on the table, you will find reproductions of items they believed actually existed here at Ferry Farm. Through archeology span and other investigative techniques, they have determined that these items would be in this room. This piece of furniture between the two windows in the dining area is quite interesting. It was found on Augustine's probate uh, inventory. This item was also found at Mount Vernon. They made this copy based on the piece of furniture at Mount Vernon. So I think that's amazing that from an inventory, they can make a reproduction of this very unique piece that dates back to about 1740, 1750. Now here's a view of the dining area from a different perspective. And we can see the door that leads out of the dining room. It's amazing that they've put together these artifacts and because they are reproductions, they will not get extremely upset if you touch them but I'm sure they want you to be careful. Now, this is the room we normally associate as the hall, but it is the passage that goes from the front of the house to the back of the house and also contains the stairs that go upstairs. Now, in the summertime, when it's extremely hot, you can open both doors and get a nice breeze through the house to cool it down.
Now upstairs, they have two rooms. These are both rooms that would have been the children's rooms at the time. We do not know which of these two rooms George Washington actually lived in, but it's probably a good bet that he lived upstairs. Now, they do have a nod to uh, George Washington's career as a surveyor. They have some surveying tools that they have placed in the window upstairs in one of the two rooms. Now, this is Mary Washington's parlor. This is a room that was normally used for entertaining important guests. But in the case of Mary Washington, they thought that maybe it was used for many different purposes, including just family time. Now in here, you will find a corner cabinet. Now the story behind this corner cabinet is quite interesting. You see, it was not on Augustine Washington's uh, probate inventory, but it was mentioned because items were stored in this corner cabinet in the inventory, even though the inventory did not mention a corner cabinet. Because at this time in history, corner cabinets were considered part of the building. This particular corner cabinet was manufactured by Colonial Williamsburg to be a replica of the typical corner cabinet that you would find in a plantation house of this age. Now the parlor also includes a very large fireplace. This is probably to show off the wealth of the Washingtons that could, they could afford such a luxurious fireplace. Now the desk and chair that are also in the parlor, these were listed on the probate inventory as an old desk and an old chair. The trunk was also listed on the inventory. Now, because they were listed as older, the curators here decided to commission a piece of furniture that would have been a little bit earlier than the construction date of the farm. Now, this is the guest room. Because Ferry Farm was located so close to the ferry, they believed that a lot of travelers would knock on the Washington's door and want a place to stay for the evening. And it was a Virginia custom not to turn people out. So therefore, they may have produced this room for housing these visitors who were just travelers on the road. In this room, we find two beds, one that folds up against the wall. Now, I think that's pretty unique to have a bed that folds up. At the visitor center, they had many displays on archeology span and the plantation. They also have an archeology span lab that you can see. Hope you've enjoyed the video of Ferry Farm, George Washington's boyhood home.